So in part one, we're going to look at outlining his body, getting all the layers prepared, putting them into folders, and getting the character ready for the next stage. So let's get started on drawing out this body. Now as you can see here, I have a set of reference sheets which have all the corresponding angles I need my body to be able to turn into. So we've got the forward facing, we've got this view which is the quarter view, the side view, a quarter back and the back. And our body is going to be able to go from front to back seamlessly. So the first thing we want to do is to get our basic body drawn out. And we're going to use masking in all of our layers and we're going to have separate layers for our torso, our hip, our two legs and both of our arms. So let's start adding these layers. So we want, we call this one torso. We're going to create a folder. We're going to rename that folder torso also. And we're going to drag this into this folder. And we're going to create another layer and we're going to call it say hip and same again create another folder and we call that hip and we drag our hip layer into our folder let me just work through the body part so we're going to say this is the l arm and we're going to Again, just duplicate, so we can just keep duplicating. We'll just rename this one R, R. Our leg. I'm just call this one our leg. So now we have all of our folders that we need to create our body. So we just need to go in now and start drawing in the parts. So firstly, I'm going to tackle our torso, and if we just zoom into our character, and there's two ways you can do this, you can draw a box, or you can use your add points tool. I think I'll use my add points tool. So starting from his neck here, I'm going to do a line out here. See, I'm going to remove our sharp corners up here in the tab. I'm going to take my line width down to 1. And then begin to just draw out the body from the middle of his neck. Like this. And I could simply just Copy this side, paste it, and flip it, and kind of match it up. And then you just bind the two end remaining points, press in your space bar, and you have your torso pretty much drawn up. And I want to tackle, we can say the hip. So again, you go into your layer and I'll say from here, I'm just going to do a line. Actually, I'll just do the one side again. Okay. 
So again, we just want to copy the side. You just want to flip it. Just drag it over. And again, attach the points. And you have your hip. Just gonna draw the points so that they match evenly the body. So next we want to tackle our L arm. And for this we can for our torso, what I might do I might bring the shoulders at a point here. Let me just track that. Do the same. Also shapes like this. So now when we add our arms, we draw and I draw my arms in separate pieces. So we first draw our bicep and our shoulder. And then we draw our forearm. I'm just going to put it in And we'll close that here and for this I'm just using the neck. So I'm just gonna make sure that all of these blend seamlessly. And I'll use my Curvature tool. I just come to the bottom point here and I'll just kind of fill these in. And we're going to add another point here. Let's try and get your general shape of your forearm to your requirements. Just finish off our oh, so we have a nice shape like that. And we could just simply copy this song, control C, select all your points and control C. If you go to your right arm, you can paste it using control V or just going up to here and testing pace and then you want to flip the points and just drag them over to his his other one so now we have our torso our hip two arms and we just need to finish off with our leg so again, repeating the same process I did with the arms. I'm going to start my leg from up here. I'm just going to draw out his leg to his knee. And again, trying to match the points wherever I can. But for now, you see I'm going to have it Possibly subject to change later, but for now, I want the legs to extend this far. I'm 
maybe over to tool. Just curve out these points here. Make sure you get the nice curvature of the fives. So I get that. And that one here just in case. And then I'm gonna do the same for half. Let's get all of this fitting, fitting nicely so it all looks hard. So that's our one of our legs. So we just copy this as before with the arm. Come to our other leg, go in the layer, and you just want to control the copy that again. Control C, Control V, just flip it, and we just drag it across to To our other leg. So we have our body drawn out. I'm just going to close off our torso. Let's close this one in the This is part one concluded. In the next episode, we're going to color and shade and add other little bits to make our character complete.